Hey everybody, this is Mark from buyheatshrink.com again, and I'm here to tell you how to use our heat shrink end caps, mainly at this point to cover up rope. So this is a two inch nylon rope, and what a lot of people do is they'll fuse the, the ends, or they'll put uh, electrical tape or duct tape around it, but it doesn't look so great. So what I did was I used our three inch heat shrink end cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that on the um, on the other side. It takes a while, so you really want to be uh, sitting down and have a good uh, good gun. This is our uh, our VT11, I'm uh, sorry, VT1100 heat shrink gun, and I'm just going to turn it on. And what I'm going to do, the most important thing, is to start at the closed end. And it takes a little while. Starting over a little bit. There we go. See it down here. Starting to shrink. You definitely want to get one side done a little bit, and then you can turn it because this rope's not uh, not the easiest thing to, to work with here. Much better. And now I'm turning it a little bit faster. And I'm just going to try to get this end here. Right there. All right, so you can see it takes a while. But so I have a finished one here. This again was our three inch end cap on a two inch rope. And then over here, I did another one with our two inch end cap on an inch and a half rope. All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more.